Some American fighter pilots say they're very concerned about their personal safety while at work. A safety issue in some F-18 warplanes is putting them at risk, they say, while they try to defend the country. Leah Gabriel is here. She used to fly the F-18s for the Navy. What, what is this? Well, you know, Chef, I spoke with active duty Navy and Marine Corps F-18 pilots, and they say that they're concerned about a problem that's basically like being intoxicated while they are flying. Now, these pilots didn't want to go on camera for fear of damaging their career, but reports show pilots who fly all models of the F-18 are increasingly in harm's way before they ever go into combat. Since 2009, the Department of the Navy has seen a rise in hazard reports regarding what are called physiological episodes in F-18 Hornet and Super Hornet aircraft. Physiological episodes are when pilots become impaired with symptoms that jeopardize their flights. They are generally caused by oxygen loss or depressurization because of system failures in the plane. I spoke with active duty F-18 pilots from both the Navy and the Marines. They wouldn't go on camera out of concern for their careers, but they each told me the already alarming situation is worsening, and they are seeing firsthand how it's affecting the mindset of our military elite. One pilot said, quote, we signed up for this. It is an inherently risky business. You may not come back each time you take the aircraft airborne, but the Navy and the Marine Corps should give you a better than average chance. They all echoed the sentiment of another pilot who bluntly said, quote, when I go flying in combat, what's more likely to kill me is not getting shot down by enemy fire. It's a failure in my most basic life support system. According to recent congressional testimony by a Navy admiral, from the year 2015 to 2016, the rate of these dangerous episodes increased in some models by 90%. Both the Navy and the Marine Corps say that they take pilot safety very seriously. The Navy says that it's a complex issue and that its leaders are engaging with pilots and crew. They're listening to their concerns and they're working to try to find a solution to the problem. And the Marine Corps says that it's trying to find the root cause. But the bottom line is this. Pilots and their crew still have to take off in F-18s knowing that they could have this problem and there is no automatic emergency system, nothing that would automatically detect that there's a problem and then feed them um, then, then feed them oxygen in an emergency. So, Shep, you mentioned that I'm a former F-18 pilot. As part of my training, they deliberately starved me of oxygen so I could see what this was like. I tried to perform basic tasks. I couldn't do simple math. I wouldn't be able to play patty cake with you, yeah. let alone try to fly or land in, in an uh, airplane in an emergency situation. Sounds very serious. Are they taking it seriously? They are taking it very seriously. They're working to solve the problem. There's another aircraft that they have grounded. It's a training aircraft mm -hmm. they have grounded because of these types of issues and pilots' concerns. But when you look at the F-18, it's got to keep flying. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to solve the problem as pilots are still flying it. Very dangerous situation for these pilots. Leah Gabriel, thank you. Thank you.